The Chop Shop DLC has released to GTA Online, and in this video I'll be going over what was added. We got a new business, the Salvage Yard. Purchase one of the five available properties from Mays Bank Foreclosures to unlock access to Salvage Yard robbery missions. These missions will have you select one of three vehicles to steal, then complete a series of setup missions that lead into a finale where you bring the selected vehicle back to your salvage yard to either be salvaged automatically for money or delivered to Yusuf for some additional cash. On top of robberies, the salvage yard has a passive daily income that can be increased by doing tow truck service missions. To be able to do these missions, you will need to purchase the tow truck upgrade for the salvage yard. These missions have you drive the tow truck to collect a vehicle, then bring it to your salvage yard to be salvaged over time for cash. There are also new drift races which take advantage of a new feature that is available for select vehicles called drift tuning. This upgrade can turn certain vehicles into drifting beasts unlike anything else in the game. Of course it wouldn't be a DLC without some new vehicles added. On Warstock we can now purchase the Police Riot, the Stanier LE Cruiser, and the Unmarked Cruiser which all finally allow players to own police vehicles. On Legendary, we have two new Amani Tech enabled vehicles, the Turismo Amagio and the Aleutian. And then on Southern San Andreas, we got the Astrope GZ, the Impaler LX, the Vivian Knight, the Dominator GT, the Vigoro ZX Convertible, and the Drift Tuning enabled FR36. On top of all this, we got tons of new clothing items available for purchase, new birthday hats that show the number of years your character has been on GTA Online, an improved interaction menu, and a new weapon, the Battle Rifle. Overall, I think the Salvage Yard is a decent business for experienced players to change up their usual grinding. The Drift Tuning is very fun to mess around with in Free Roam, and it is nice to have our own cop cars. But this DLC feels a bit small compared to others in terms of content, and it might be because Rockstar is starting to focus on expanded and enhanced exclusive updates as well as GTA Plus exclusives. I really hope the next update brings more for all players to enjoy. Thanks for watching. Peace.